ever pondered about the root cause of dwarfism? It's a fascinating topic, isn't it? Dwarfism, often misunderstood, is actually a medical or genetic condition that results in a shorter stature than average. This means that adults with this condition typically have a height of 4 feet 10 inches or less. But it's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Dwarfism has many forms and can vary greatly from individual to individual. It's important to note, however, that dwarfism isn't a disease. Instead, it's a result of various genetic mutations. These mutations can occur spontaneously or they can be inherited and they affect bone growth in diverse ways. People with dwarfism are just like everyone else. They're simply shorter in stature. So why does this happen? What's going on at the genetic level that leads to these height differences? Well, that's exactly what we're going to delve into. Now that we know what dwarfism is, let's uncover its causes. Dwarfism is often attributed to over 200 different medical conditions. But do you know the most common cause? Drum roll, please. It's a condition known as achondroplasia. This bone growth disorder is the culprit behind 70% of all dwarfism cases. Now let's break it down a bit, shall we? Achondroplasia is a rare genetic condition that occurs because of a mutation in a specific gene, the FGFR3 gene. This mutation causes an interesting effect. It severely limits the conversion of cartilage into bone during early development. Think of it as a construction project where the builders suddenly run out of bricks and start using foam blocks instead. The structure is there, but it just doesn't grow as tall. So when it comes to dwarfism, it's not about what you eat, how much you exercise, or any lifestyle choices. It's all about the genetic lottery. So it's the genetic lottery, and not lifestyle choices that determine dwarfism. With this understanding, how does dwarfism impact the lives of those affected? We've journeyed through the intricacies of dwarfism, unmasking its root in genetic mutations and pinpointing achondroplasia as its primary cause. But understanding is just the first step. Now. Let's delve into the implications. Individuals with dwarfism are not defined by their condition. Yes, they may face unique health challenges, but with the right medical care, they can lead robust, healthy lives. Society plays a crucial role here too. By fostering inclusivity and respect, we can ensure they experience a world that acknowledges their strengths rather than focusing on their differences. The narrative of dwarfism is not one of limitation, but of divergence. It's a different lens through which to view the world, offering a unique perspective that enriches our collective human experience. Remember, dwarfism is not a hindrance, but a different way of experiencing the world.